Hello, sixth graders. How are you guys? I hope everything okay with you. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about equivalent fractions. Okay. This is a short video. We'll talk a little bit about these just for help you to study for our future tests. Guys, equivalent fractions, as I told to you, is a fractions that represents the same values are equivalent fractions. When I have fractions represent the same value, it is equivalent fractions. Here's an example we have here one half, the first one as you can see, and the second one over here, as you can see, it's the same amount, okay? You represent the same quantity here, okay? The same value. It's like a half times two. But if you see the drowning, is the same thing they are represent here. And the next one here is times four, the first fraction. And here you see represent the same amount, okay? The same value. As you can see, guys, let's create equivalent fraction. We need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same value, like three fourths times two right now is six eight, and times three is nine twelve. Okay, guys, it's pretty simple, pretty simple. Great. And here we did some exercise in classroom. I think you remember a little bit. And here. Write a number in the box that makes the fraction equivalent. As I teach you guys, look for the denominators. And what is the kind of connection we have in number 2 and 6? Oh, I know 2 times a number equals 6. What number is that? The number is times 3. If you do here in the denominator, you need to do the same thing in the numerator. 1 times 3 equals 3. And we did this for all others here, guys. As you can see here, we did it in classroom. Great. We go over a little bit. And we need to check if they are equivalent or not. I taught you to simplify both fractions and find the simplest form. When you find it, you compare. Okay. If they are the same thing, yes, they are equivalent. But if not, as you can see here, number 11, they are not equivalent. Great. I think you remember this one. And like fractions. Like fractions is fractions with the same denominator. Okay. This is the like fractions. And unlike fractions, as you can see here, is fractions with different denominators. Great. Comparing fractions. How do I compare fractions? Okay. If we are given a fraction A, 3 fourths, and fraction B, 5 6, which fraction is greater? Okay, guys, to compare, I need to rewrite that fraction. But how I will write a fraction, Mr. Romeo? You need using a common denominator. You need to rewrite that fraction as a like fraction. How do I do this, Mr. Romeo? Look for the denominator and find the LCM. Okay, the denominator and then find the LCM. After this, you find the example for 4 and 6, as you can see, here's 12. After this, you will write the fraction using the LCM as the denominator. Okay, we write the fraction. Instead to write 3 fourths, I will, I will write 12, my denominator here. And what's the denominator? We just work to, to figure out how many times 4 goes into 12? We figure out it's 3. And if you do 3 denominator, you treat the denominator and you find out the new fraction, okay? New equivalent fraction. And we write the fraction B, as you can see here, using the LCM too. The same thing, but use the LCM, as you know, 12. And out here, 12. And we multiply 5 times 2. Oh, 6 times 2 is 12, I know it. And 5 times a number is 2 equals 10. Which one is the greatest? As you can see, I could I, I calculated and 5, 6 is greater than 3 fourths. And we rewrite this like 3 fourths is less than 5, 6. Okay? Remember the alligator mouth opens to the biggest. Okay? Nice. Here, guys, you are comparing using less than, 
greater than or equal. We did some in classroom, like here, uh, number 18, 10 over 4, 15 over 6. You'll find the LCM for 6 we did already, okay, remember? And we discover, we'll figure out it's 12. After this, you know it's 12, the, the least common multiple, you will denominator 12, 12, and you'll figure out how many times 4 goes into 12 is 3. If the denominator goes 3 times, the denominator must be go 3 times too. 30. And here the same thing, 2 times, and 2 times is 30. 30 over 12 is 30, equals 30 over 12, the equal sign. Great. All others here, guys, you work a little bit in classroom, I think you remember. Great. And here, guys, about ordering. How do I order something, Mr. Romeo? I will teach you guys. First thing, find the LCM between 2, 5, and 20. The LCM for these guys, okay? LCM. Let me write this. And you break it down in the prime factorization. Okay, 2 is breaking 2, this, okay? Number 5, I know it's just 5. Number 20, I can rewrite number 20 is 4 times 5. I can break down number 4 and 2 times 2 times 5. Right now, as you remember, I need to highlight where number 2 must appear. Oh, must appear over here. Where number 5 must appear. Ah, over here. Great. I have the numbers 2 times 2 times 5 is 20. Okay, my LCM, as you know, is 20. Oh, great. Let me write, rewrite all fractions using the new value for LCM because I know it's 20. 20 here, comma, I don't need comma, just rewrite this. 20 here, oh, this, this may organize better to have enough room for everything. 20 for the first fraction, 20 for the second fraction, and 20 for the last fraction. Right now, let me rewrite the numerator for each one. How many times 2 goes into 20? Uh, it is 10 times. Times 10. If I go 10 times here, or 10 times here, mm -hmm. I need to go 10 times over here too. Times 10. 1 times 10 it is 10. Great. The second one, how many times 5 goes into 20? I know it, it is 4 times. 4 times. Oops, let me just 4 times and if I go 4 times in the denominator then go 4 times in the numerator 2 times 4 it is 2 times 4 8 and the last one how many times 20 goes into 20 or just one time if you go just one time one time here 2 times 1 it is 7 great the fraction is 7 over 20 8 over 20 and 10 over 20 Let's right now rewrite this ordering list to the greatest. How do I do this, mister? Who is the list? 7 over 20. Just rewrite here. 7 over 20. Comma. Who is the next one? 8 over 20. It means it's 2 over 5. 2 over 5. And the last one, 10 over 20. I know it's a half. Great, guys. Just it. Oh, just it, Mr. Yes, just it. Okay, we order the fractions from least to the greatest. Great, guys. Here is the exercise we must do. Okay, it's pretty simple. And remember, as a ticket, what is the equivalent fraction? As I told you guys, these are fractions that represent the same value. Great. Here's our class. I hope you enjoy a lot and learn a little bit. Okay, keep working. Keep your good job, guys. See you next class. Bye-bye.